Welcome to video for creating Pareto chart in Excel. Let us quickly understand what is Pareto principle and where it applies. Then we will see the few examples of Pareto chart and understand how the data is presented. Pareto chart is created based on the Pareto principle, which is also known as 80-20 rule. This principle is named after economist Wilfredo Pareto. He noted in his research that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by only 20% of the population. On further research, this ratio was noted in multiple fields, events and activities. Now, let us imagine yourself as a salesman and you want to achieve monthly sales target. During the month, you would do lot of activities to achieve it. However, at the month end, when you analyze all the activities you did during the month, you would notice that 80% of the activities have helped you to achieve only 20% of the sales target and rest 20% of the activities helped you to achieve 80% of the sales target for the month. Thus, 80-20 rule is also working over here. Now, you can also notice that Maybe only 20% of all the dealers will help you to achieve 80% of your sales target value. Thus, this Pareto principle applies to lot of areas. In simple words, it says that first do the 20% that matters and rest do the later. So now I hope you can imagine that how it will help the management to prioritize things to have the maximum impact on the targeted outcome. Hence in corporate world, it is often requested to present the data using this principle. So let us now look at few examples of presenting this data visually using this principle. The chart shown on the screen is created for the weights measured in pounds for 1000 plus survey respondents. Weights bins were then created and number of individuals whose weights falls within those bin range were counted. This is exactly similar to counting we did for creating our histogram chart in our previous videos. Then these bins were sorted in descending order of head counts and cumulative percentage of each bin to the total head count was counted. This data was then presented using column and line chart. With this presentation, it becomes clear that out of total 9 weight bins, only top 3 bin itself account for 84% of the population. Rest of the bins just count for 15.5% of the head count. Now let us look at the alternative presentation for the same data set. Here on screen you can see that we have presented the head count data just like the steps in a building moving upwards. Head counts for each bin is shown above the total head count of the previous bin. Then we have also presented cumulative percentage for people up to that bin. Sometimes reading column and line chart together creates a confusion for a reader. Hence, this chart can be suitable for such audience. And finally, this chart is very similar to previous presentation, except for few changes. For example, instead of a cumulative percentage, we have displayed the headcount percent to the total headcount by grouping the bins at the top. Further, we have also displayed a total column at the end which is kind of representing total of all the previous steps. So now we will see how we can create all of these three presentation inside Excel. We will also understand limitation of the current version of inbuilt Pareto chart in Excel. Instead of those inbuilt chart available in Excel, we will be using alternative approach to create this visual. So let us get started and see those visualization in next videos.